keeping the train going, keeping it a rolling. Next comedian coming up on stage, a good friend of mine, very funny fella. I like him. Jason Gold, everybody. Anthony Robinson, give it up for him one more time. And congratulations, guy who got bonked with the microphone. Now you have a staph infection. <laughs> well, I'm with you here, we both have it. I have a friend who is way too enthusiastic about sharing his porn. <laughs> like, I had him over for a visit the other day, and the next day he calls me up and he goes, Hey, man. I think I might have left some porn at your house. Go ahead and look at it if you want. <laughs> now what he said was, I may have left some porn at your house. I went down my staircase and sitting there was a massive duffel bag. <laughs> like this bag, it was so big, it looked like he was getting ready to ship out to sea. <laughs> And he wasn't coming back, that big kind of bag. It looked like one of those things that like rednecks hang on to while they get yanked around a lake by a speedboat. <laughs> so I looked at it. <laughs> I opened up the bag and it was all tit fuck videos. Every last one of them. Now I, like, I didn't know that there was that many tit fuck videos on earth. <laughs> let alone all centrally located in my friend's duffel bag. <laughs> but they were all tit fuck. This is like an autistic level of tit fuck videos. <laughs> and I don't know what one, I don't know how they were different from one another. Like, why does he, I don't know how, is he like a secret tit fuck tycoon? <laughs> He's like, oh, I cornered the market. I'm a really big wheel in the tit fuck game. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, I still buy porn, and I have a perfectly functioning internet. <laughs> but this is because when I learned to jack off, it was still at the same time where you had to physically possess porn. You had to hold it, it wasn't just ones and zeros flying through cables. So and it's, a, it's a hard habit to break, man. Like, I came home drunk the other night and was cleaning out my spam filter and there was a sale on porn for two bucks a DVD. And I, first, I bought it because I wanted to see what kind of porn you get for the cost it takes to actually physically manufacture the disc. You pay for it with your credit card and the next day you wake up and your credit card's been frauded out but a week later you have porn. Yay. Actually, that's not even true. The porn was in my mailbox quicker than it took me to dispute the fraud charges. <laughs> and I had to go through the lines, line by line, with the bank lady and be like, she's like, is this one a fraud? Yeah. Is this one a fraud? Yeah. Is this one a fraud? Yeah. How about this one for fatjackstriplexfuckshack.com? Is that one a fraud? <laughs> no. <laughs> this porn and first I thought I got ripped off because I was like why did they just send me those videos of bees laying their eggs inside of other bees <laughs> I ended up with what I'm calling like Ikea porn because everybody on there looked like they were put together with an Allen wrench and an argument <laughs> it was really it was too awful looking people fucking. Like they, like they must have like gone down by the LA River and went to see if they could get people to fuck for food. I swear to God, man, it looked like a stack of backpacks riding cowgirl on a rake. Like the guy, like really she had tits like coins on a dead man's eyes. I looked like he had punched his way out of a grave. <laughs> oh, man. Change of direction here, though. Still with the porn. My dad passed away a few years ago. When you do that, you have to clean out their stuff. And I found my dad's porn. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, finding your dad's porn or still having it. <laughs> and I got it home, and I realized it looked a lot like mine. Like... Redhead.
head video, Latin video, anal video. Da, 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 da. I was like, is there, is, is porn preference hereditary? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering here, folks. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I'm a little unpleasant to look at. Uh, I know this about myself. It's okay. I tell people I'm built like a candle. I'm pretty hot on top, but the rest looks like melting. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. I'm Jason Miller.